the government through some agencies tried as much as possible to frustrate us. Uh, in fact, even after they've written to us to agree on the route and the date, they attempted to stop us again, but God willing, we are here today. It's about just exercising our civil right to protest what you and I don't like, which is the precarious nature of our economy. Today, we can show the little that President Muhammad got over his period. One of the things he's done is this. Today, upon the almost 600 billion that we are in debt with, if you take the 120 out of what President Muhammad and since independence left, what have we got to show for it? Almost every road project is in abeyance. In fact, Ridge Hospital is supposed to see a phase two. They abandoned that and are building a new headquarters for Bank of Ghana. Why would we have a situation where board members of very good organizations who are taking a big money in a sitting allowance who have to use state money to buy an iPhone for board members? I mean, what kind of wickedness is this? So we are protesting using our rights that we don't like what the NPP government is doing. They have collapsed our economy under President Kufuado and Dr. Baumia, the chairman of uh, the, uh, uh, how do you call it, uh, economic management team. And the Bank of Ghana governor, who does not see anything wrong with losing 60 billion, the same Bank of Ghana governor, who have actually shut down banks for because of their balance sheet. Today, your own bank, you are presiding over, is collapsed. Yet you found money to spend over 100 million Ghana city for maintenance of vehicles. You are spending $250 million, and then they said that they've committed a project before Edison. In fact, there are ongoing projects that have been stopped because of lack of money. So we are expecting them to stop the construction of the Bank of Ghana headquarters as a sign of showing empathy with the people of this country. But guess what? Akufuado is trying to commission the Bank of Ghana headquarters in Dr. Baumia in 2024. So that is the fastest construction project in our country today. Akufuado and Dr. Baumia doesn't care about us. We need to take the law into our own hands and do the right thing and make sure that in 2024, every Ghanaian who is suffering today, the contractor whose projects have been abandoned, the unemployed youth, the nurse and teacher trainee whose allowances are not paid, and all these people vote for us to, so that we can reverse some of the bad things that have happened today to put our country back on the track. Finally, are you going to send a petition to the Bank of Ghana because there's a, there's a cap yes. as to where you would have to stop the demonstration? I was at the last meeting, negotiation meeting with the police. They made us aware they will not allow us to enter the Bank of Ghana. We agreed. But we insisted that the governor of Bank of Ghana must come out and meet us somewhere and receive the petition himself. This morning, we saw text messages to Bank of Ghana workers that they shouldn't come to work. So there's actually nobody there who is uh, in jeopardy or anything. So we are expecting that we'll go as close as possible and the police and the government will make the Bank of Ghana governor come and take the petition. We disagree that we said we'll turn around at uh, uh, national lotteries. We never said that. We never agreed on that one. That, that is their own view of uh, interpretation of what we discussed. But when we get there, we shall see.